I purchased that jacket probably literally realistically 20 years ago at a store called Apollo Signature in Harlem on 125th Street. And how many times have you worn that? Maybe three. I haven't worn a lot. You know, I got a lot of attention. I bought it to wear the fashion week one year. And after that, I got wild attention. So I put it away. The coat got his own personality. People want to put it in museums. People call me, could you bring it with you? You know, we're having a fur exhibition. Could you bring your jacket? We're doing a hip hop museum. We want to put it in there. Could we rent it? So the fur comes out once in a while if it makes sense. But, you know, for the Drake show being at the Apollo, I thought it'd be cool to bring out. What's the most somebody's ever offered you for that jacket? 300000 I didn't say ever, but I'm talking about the people who offered it to me. I didn't feel they deserved it. It was more of a stat to me saying, y'all bought Kim's jacket. It wasn't really like they appreciated where that jacket came from. If it makes sense to sell it to somebody who would appreciate it or put it where it's going to be seen and be historic that people know it's my jacket, cool. You know, you got rich suburban kids who be like, hey, Kim, my girlfriend really loves your pink jacket. I don't really know too much about it, but... I'll buy it for her, you know, how much do you want for it? Like, that type shit, you know what I'm saying? These are uh, booster babies. Their parents come from generation and generational money to where they probably don't know too much about hip-hop at all anyway. But they dealing with people who do. It's Bryce Davis on the check-in. As y'all heard, Cameron spoke on his iconic pink fur jacket that he wore in the Dipset Anthem slash I Really Mean It video. In the video, it can be seen hopping out of a pink truck with pink Timberlands on and a pink jacket. You know, back then, that was a big deal because, you know, nobody wore pink. It was unheard of for a man to wear pink. You know, we always associated pink with being a feminine color, you know, a color that, you know, mostly girls wore, whatever the case may be. But, you know, I was in high school when this came out, so this had dudes wearing pink left and right. Dudes was going to Foot Locker, finish line, rocking pink t-shirts, and had on the pink Ralph Lauren polos and all that. I personally didn't. But, you know, I definitely saw that in high school because, you know, everybody was a big fan of Dipset and all that back then. And I actually don't even think Cameron wore the jacket that many times. Like, I remember in the video and that uh, performance, I think he did for The Source, if I'm not correct. And, you know, uh, back then, I never heard of the LBGTHGTV community. <laughs> no, I'm just playing with y'all. But back then, uh, you know, that was just something, you know, I, you didn't really see much growing up. If he's born past the year 2000, you probably don't understand what we're talking about here. But yeah, back then, you didn't really see too many people that were was open about their sexuality. Like, for instance, that's something I didn't really see growing up. But the older I got, you know, once I was in my 20s, you know, people start coming out of the closet. You know, they start being honest about who they are, which I encourage everybody to be. You know, I always say be yourself. So, you know, it's, it's more prevalent <clears throat> prevalent now. And, you know, back then, that was something that, you know, wasn't, you know, nearly what it is now. But, you know, I have nothing against it. And I actually respect everybody that, you know, opens up. I know it can't be easy. I know it's a lot easier nowadays, too. But back then, coming out the closet, boy... That was dangerous back then, you know what I'm saying? Like, there, it was a lot of homophobia that went around and, you know, luckily we got away from that and, you know what I'm saying, people don't gotta hide it like they did back then. It's definitely a big difference between, you know what I'm saying, the 90s, early 2000s and 2020. Trust me when I say that. And I can understand where he doesn't want to sell the coat as well because, you know what I'm saying, uh, 300,000, to somebody that's not going to appreciate such an iconic moment in hip-hop, yeah, I wouldn't let it go neither. I mean, let's not be literal here. I mean, 300000 changed my whole life. But anyway, yeah, I think you should donate it to like a museum or some type of college course or do something with it where it would be appreciated because it definitely was a, a time and era to be remembered. You know what I'm saying? I was glad that, you know, he let Drake wear it during his Apollo performance in Harlem. You know, he got to pay homage to the diplomats and, you know what I'm saying, pay homage to Cam by wearing the pink fur. And, you know, hopefully we get to see it more in the future because, you know, it's always going to be funny to me. It's always going to be a moment in time in my life. So we'll see what Cam does with it. And, of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe. 